Hey friends, I'm Rhiannon from Drawn by Rhiannon and today I'm going to be designing a sausage dog print. So one of the things that I love most about doing markets is being able to get out there and actually talk to you uh, face to face, getting feedback on items and on just all sorts of things. And one of the things which is really useful feedback that I get from you is when you ask for new prints. Most of the time when I design a new print it's because I've got inspiration from somewhere, like I've seen something or I've been somewhere that I really want to draw. But sometimes when I'm designing a print it's because so many people have asked me for it. And last year when I was doing Christmas markets, I got asked so many times to do a sausage dog print. So here we are, I've listened and a sausage dog print is incoming. So today I'm going to be drawing a sausage dog, I need to get some reference pictures for that. So I'm going to be drawing it, colouring it in and then scanning it into the computer and arranging it into a print design. I've got sort of a rough idea of what I want the finished design to look like, which is always helpful when I'm going into print designing, so I'm not just completely shooting in the dark kind of thing. So I'm going to grab my sketchbook and some pencils and get started. Okay, so I've got the pencil sketch done, just sort of the basic outline of it. Um, I was going to colour it in with uh, pencil crayons, but I'm thinking because they're not like, I'm not doing a long haired one, so it's very short fur and it sort of looks kind of velvety, I think what I'm going to do instead is paint it watercolours, um, do a load of different shades of brown and then uh, transfer that over into Photoshop and sort of make some digital brushes from the watercolour painting that I'm going to do and I think that's going to give it more of um, like a nice velvety finish. I'm going to go and grab some brushes and just do a few different shades of brown so I can get those sampled, put into Photoshop and uh, get this all coloured in. So once I've scanned a drawing into the computer, it actually takes ages to clean it up. So I've got to adjust the brightness and the contrast to basically try and make the pencil drawing kind of pop as much as possible. Um, and then there is the very, very long and <laughs> boring task of going around and getting rid of all the little, I don't know how you describe it, like little artifacts. Um, it's sort of like the texture of the paper and any rough little pencil marks that have somehow sort of managed to get onto the page. Um, and then basically just cleaning up the lines. So when you draw with a pencil, it leaves a very kind of rough and bumpy line, which I want a little bit of that so that you can still see that it's hand drawn, but a lot of it is just like too bumpy and it doesn't look good on a digital print. So I just need to go around and clean all that up and then a lot of it as well is kind of trying to even out the lines. So when you're drawing with a pencil, it is near on impossible to get every line the same thickness. I don't know if it's just something about being human, but it's like impossible. Um, so I basically just have to go around and try and make the lines a similar width. Um, again, just so when it's on a digital print, it looks better, looks a bit cleaner um, and you don't get sort of really heavy lines on some bits of the prints and then lighter bits on the other. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit more uniform, but still keep that hand drawn characteristic. So 
so once the drawing is all cleaned up then I can get on to colouring it in. So I've scanned in the watercolour paintings that I did earlier um, and basically just taking like little samples from it. So I do a mixture of using the watercolour samples that I did and then also some digital colouring to give it a little bit of shading. I find like the combination of the two gives more of a sort of three dimensional effect. So I love having the texture of the watercolour paintings because you can see the brush strokes, you can see the texture of the paper and that just makes it, you know, adds to the hand drawn feel. But then when you go in and add highlights and shading, just like digital painting on top, then it just gives it a bit more depth um, just makes it a little bit more realistic. Just keep going back and forth between my drawing and the paintings and also my reference picture just so that I can see where the colours are, where I'm wanting the lighter patches and the darker patches. Um, it's really tricky to sort of blend the colours nicely so it's a lot of layers as you can see on the right hand side there there's a lot of layers and then I've also got this sort of dapple effect that I did with the brushes just to give it a little bit of a furry texture just to mix it up a bit because um, obviously I am painting it digitally but I want it to look as undigital as possible if that makes sense. Then at the end I'm just going over with a sort of base colour just to smooth it all over, make the transitions between the different patches a little bit more clean. Now that the drawing is all finished it's time to make the final print design. So I believe this is quite an outdated way of making a print design these days but this is how I was taught it at uni and um, so this is the way that I do it. There was just a little tweak that I wanted to make that when I finished the design I realised that it just looked a little bit dark so I just went back and lightened up the sausage dogs. Like I said at the beginning of the video I did have quite a clear idea of how I wanted this print to look like when it was finished so it was a pretty quick process getting the final print finished. So that is it, the sausage dog print is finished, I'm going to be bringing it onto new products very soon, but if you could please let me know in the comments below what items you would like to see the sausage dog print on. And um, You might have seen as well just at the very end of the print designing that I was trying to decide what colour background to have to it, and um, I quite liked the sort of olivey green kind of colour which isn't something that I do very often, um, but yeah let me know what kind of colour you might like as the background for it as well. It took a lot longer than I was expecting, I feel like I say this every time I design a print, but for some reason it just took so so long to clean up the picture, so after I'd drawn it and then scanned it into the computer, there were so many like little artefacts and everything that I had to clean up, and it just took so long, it took like getting on for two hours just to clean up the pencil drawing, and then it took like nearly another two hours just to colour it in as well, but we got there in the end, um, I'm pretty happy with it, so that's good. And I hope you are too. Let me know if you have any requests for other print designs. I'm going to be doing some more dogs this year. So I'm going to have individual prints of the most popular dog breeds. But then I'm also planning on doing um, a dog print with all the dogs that I've drawn on. In case you don't have like a particular breed that you're really into. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be lovely if you could subscribe to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.